Hi guys. No one's here. Hi, Cecilia. Rhiannon's here. Meg's here. Hi, darling. What's going on, guys? Owen's here. Hi, everyone. Excuse for the paint on my hands. I've just been spray painting with a black spray can. Can you see? <laughs> Forgot to wear gloves. That was a mistake. Whoops. Hi, Hania, Bania. Hi, guys. Let's see if eucalyptus oil gets it off. Eucalyptus oil normally gets everything off. Let's see. Yes! Eucalyptus oil, guys. If you're not Australian and you don't know what this stuff is, it literally cleans anything. No shit. <laughs> anything sticky. Look coming off. Your bits help me so much. Oh, wonderful darling. What's this? Loz, I got approved for a rental. Yes, Amy. Hooray. Oh, I knew you would, darling. All right. What's this? Hello, beautiful. Buckle up. I have some very good news. Oh, who is this? TT23 IV4. <laughs> TT23 4. Who is this? What's the very good news? Tell us. I'm so excited. Oh, Amy, that's wonderful news, darling. Wonderful. After saying yesterday, this week is going to be amazing and I'm getting all my shit. Wonderful, darling. So you just said, this week's going to be amazing. I'm getting everything I fucking want. I'm getting all my shit. End of. That's the way it's happening this week. Wonderful, darling. You can be that general, guys, about next week. Doesn't need to be specific about the rental or anything. Just everything is going to go my way next week. That's it. I've decided. SP is back after months of no contact. After months of no contact, what did you do? I always want to know what people did. What were you affirming? What were you doing? Were you changing the old story? What were you doing, darling? Tell us. That's wonderful. I thought I missed you live because of this morning. Oh, no. What could, I do it twice a day. I go live twice a day. So morning time Australia and night time Australia, which was night time US, morning time UK. And I can feel the energy of my SP conforming. No 3D evidence, but I feel it in my bones. Wonderful, Amy. Hooray. What can I affirm to get rid of anxiety? I never feel anxious. I'm in control of the feelings I feel. My feelings don't run me. I feel so calm. I always feel so calm and serene. I know how to soothe myself and make myself feel safe. I am in full control of the feelings I feel. So those things do. Can I manifest a straight boy? What do you mean? He's not straight and you want him to be straight? Or what are you talking about? You're, are you queer and, and he's straight and you want him to be queer? I don't understand the question, darling. Manifest anything you like. Just imagine they're in love with you. It doesn't matter what their sex is, sexuality is. Everyone is parroting back my affirmations. Oh, what am I doing? Love it when they do that. Love it. I'm afraid I'll get a ticket for speeding. What could I affirm? Go back to the scene of when you thought you sped and go back and imagine you didn't. Okay? It's like going through a red light. Imagine you didn't. Imagine driving through and think, oh, I just got there in time. Or, oh, no, I was doing 60Ks or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Don't imagine that you're going to get one, then you will. Don't even imagine it. Oh, my God, that worked perfect. I can't believe that worked. Who knew? Eucalyptus oil, guys. Paint stains. Let's see if it gets off these clothes. I just, I've got the paint all over my jacket. Probably not off the jacket. Manifest someone saying my affirmations to me. Oh, wonderful, Positive Barry. Wonderful. How do you make money if it's too personal to ask? I'm just curious, different ways to make money. I make money from this account, darling. No shit. I made money from the calls and now I've stopped the calls. <laughs> That's how I make money. I also have a rental in England, but I don't touch that money. That money just stays in my British bank account and pays for the house. So that's the answer. <laughs> I also had a clothing store before this and I sold all the clothes just recently so that I got rid of it all because I was closing it down. Um... Tips for manifesting something you have resistance towards because of current circumstances. Well, stop saying you've got a resistance towards it, darling. Stop saying that. Honestly, stop saying it. Because you're saying you've got resistance towards it, 
you think you can't manifest because of current circumstances and therefore the circumstances are giving you resistance and making you think you can't manifest even though I say over and over and over and every manifestation coach in the history of time says circumstances don't matter you're thinking yours matter and yours are special they're not special no one's special guys no one's circumstances are any different for anyone else's I don't care if they told you to fuck up and die I don't care if they're on the other side of the world whatever I don't care if they just got married circumstances don't matter got it I feel so powerful. I can't explain. Wonderful, darling. Uh, hang on. Where is the rest of this? I reacted to 3D, texted my SP, and he didn't respond, but he is my husband, so it doesn't matter. Good, darling, good. Just keep saying that, darling, and don't react to whatever they did or didn't do. Self-concept on point. SP said his ego is too big to chase me and kept initiating and yet can't stop. Ah! <laughs> too big to chase me and yet he is. Ha-ha! Sucker. So the real Alexis Hon, tell me what you're talking about when you say about the resistance. Tell me what the current circumstances are and I'll tell you how to fix it. Um, hey, Lois. Hi, Evelyn. Are you rich from manifesting? Well, I've, well I'm not poor. <laughs> Is that a good answer? Hey, Bestie. Hey, affirm my brother to say that I'm good, I'm a good sister, and he said it in a few hours later. Affirm my brother to say I'm a good sister, and he said it a few hours later. Oh, wonderful. Love that, darling. That's so lovely. My SP has been with men all her life and says she's straight. Can I manifest her being bi and into me? Darling, listen, all you need to do is imagine she loves you. The amount of people I know who thought they were straight and then ended up in gay relationships, I can't even... I can. I can't count. Okay? If you assume she loves you, she will start to have feelings for you she can't understand. She's starting to have feelings for me she can't understand. She's having sexual fantasies about me. She's fantasizing about me all the time. When she goes to bed, it's me she thinks about. Say those things. Mm -hmm. How can I stop thinking my SP won't make the first contact because he's stubborn, prideful? Will stop saying he's stubborn slash prideful. That's the problem. If you keep thinking that. Guys, if you think they're annoyed with you, upset, Hurt, prideful, stubborn. He never reached out before. He never pursued. You're fucked. They'll never contact you because you've got that story in your brain and you're putting that on them. It's like you're putting the sticky note. You're stubborn. You're prideful. Therefore, you won't contact me. So he won't. Take those sticky notes away and say the complete opposite. He loves to call me. He's not prideful at all. He does exactly what I want. If I want him to call me, he calls me. Swam in some moon water last night, then drank cinnamon. Oh my God, Posy Berry. How did you make so much moon water to swim in? That's amazing. Did you just, did you just mean the ocean? <laughs> That's wonderful. I wonder what that cinnamon is going to do for you. Hi, Alyssa Simone. Laws, how do I stop obsessively checking my boyfriend's Insta? Why don't you just fucking delete your Instagram, darling? If you've got that lack of self-control that you can't keep checking it, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Delete the app. It's really simple. It's like a drug addict. You take the heroin away. You know, just leave it there. Try not to take it. Try not to touch it. If that's your heroin, throw it away. Okay? Don't want to create anything, but what can I affirm to stop anything from happening? Darling, nothing is going to happen, but your mind is going to manifest things happening by looking. So stop fucking looking at it. Guys, just the pure thought of, oh, my God, who's that girl on there? Oh, my God, is that a third party? Oh, she looks like she likes him. Look at the way she's looking at him. Then you're fucked. Stop looking at it. How do I become less shy and more sociable? I'm so sociable. I love going to parties. Everyone loves talking to me. I'm everyone's favorite person. I'm not shy anymore. In fact, I'm so confident. I'm so confident in my own skin. Say that, darling. Hey, Loz. Thought came in and I, it wasn't pleasant. I was flipping my thoughts even I'm not fine. It doesn't matter, guys. Just flip them. Bad thoughts come in all the time, guys. You're human. Just try and flip them if you can. I love these lives. Oh, thanks, darling. How to manifest new to your channel. Oh, how to manifest you? That's a big question. Okay, darling. You're manifesting all the time. If you're really fucking lost, you need to go to my TikTok and watch the two series about law of assumption. The first one is all the way down the bottom of the page. I'm in a pink top and it goes for 16 um, parts. And it says, Law of Assumption versus Law of Attraction, How to Manifest Properly. Go and watch that. Then watch the latest ones in black and white I did on Law of Assumption. It's basically this. 
what you dominantly assume manifests. So whatever shit you're thinking now has manifested into your current reality and you're looking at it like, oh my God, look at this shit in front of me, but you actually caused it with your thinking. Your dominant thinking, what you most dominantly habitually think, causes your reality. So to change your reality and to manifest something new, you have to think new thoughts, the opposite of the shit you produced, that will produce new reality. It's simply thought reflection. Your subconscious reflects thought out and everyone reflects it back to you. And that's how you create your reality. Okay? Not sure if you saw my comments, but I feel like you would be proud of what I did. Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa let me go up. I missed it because you got your SP back and I missed it. Where is it? What did she say? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. But a few days ago, my ex texted me after two and a half years after we broke up and broke up with his girlfriend. Oh, I feel so powerful, can't explain. But a few days ago, my ex texted me after two and a half years after we broke up and broke up with his girlfriend. Oh, what were you doing before that, darling? Tell us what... Hang on, let me see what you said you were doing. Hang on, hang on. The last time I joined your live and told you a boy I had nine months of no contact blowed up my phone and an ex from two and a half years ago. And which one are you with? That's amazing, darling. What were you doing? That is amazing. What, did, what were you affirming, darling, to get both those exes of the boy, the nine month boy and the two and a half year boy back? That's amazing. I'm currently moving all my stuff to mum's while house hunting. What a day. Oh, Kat, are you all right, darling? Holy shit. Uh, you're too funny. Love, Mars. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Paula. Are people able to block my manifestations? No, because says I have a block for love. Who says that, Danny Murphy? Who the fuck are you listening to? I wonder what laws would look like with a middle part. I look terrible with a middle part. My face is not symmetrical enough for a middle part. Trust me. I'm not a middle part kind of girl. <laughs> it does not suit me at all. Live froze yesterday, but ran into SP Saturday night after we talked. My friend said, oh, my God, the way he looks at you, he is so in love with you. Wonderful, darling. They're all parroting it back. It's just going to take him time to parrot it back to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, the live froze today. I was outside, completely ran out of batteries, and it just stopped. Just batteries ran out. iPad died. Sorry, guys. Um, thoughts on Kimberly? She's very good. I find her too businessy. I can't seem to relate to her. Oh, look, some people you don't relate to. Like, I relate to Sammy really well. I relate to Kim. Sometimes Kim, um, like, repeats herself for a little bit, but so do I. But I like both of them. But just whoever rings true for you. It's like Dylan James sometimes grates on my nerves the way he talks, so I can't gel with him sometimes. Just whoever you gel with, guys. That's wonderful, TT234. What did you actually do to get that outcome? I want to know. Oh, my God, Loz had two birds for landing today. Oh, fertile. Had a blood test, and I am way more fertile than I should be at 34. It's the same as a 20-year-old. Oh, my God, darling. Congratulations. So if I think I have lots of friends, I'll have lots of friends, lol. Yes, darling, I have so many friends. I'm everyone's favorite person. I'm so fucking popular. Say so those things. What if I feel I've pissed him off? Well, then you will have, Louisa. Louisa, how have you been on these many lives recently and you're not understanding that what you think manifests? If you think you've pissed him off, you've pissed him off. You're sending that assumption out to him. I pissed you off. You're angry with me, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? And I know that's hard, guys, because if you feel like you've done something wrong and you beat yourself up a lot and you're the person who's critical of yourself, you're going to think those things. You've got to curb those things in your brain, okay? feel like a lot of my areas in my life are going down south lately. Is this my thinking, right? Yes, darling. Look, Sandra, sometimes things go wrong before they get better. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes that's true for people. Sometimes it isn't. Just give it that meaning. Oh, well, everything's going bad before it gets better. Sometimes that happens to people. This is a bridge of incidents to get me to what I want. Say those things, darling. Lois, well, I'm trying not to think about third party, but any affirmations to help with this situation, please. Just focus on you and them together. And if at any point you think about the third party, darling, I want you to try and banish the bitch from your brain as much as you possibly can. I know it's hard, but you've got to, guys, because otherwise you're just keeping her in your reality. And for all you know, they don't even love her. They don't even want her, but you're keeping her there purely by thinking about her. Okay? To be completely honest, the ex came back so unexpected. I feel like I manifested him subconsciously. We cut all contact shortly after the separation. Really? So it was just reflecting your self-concept, basically, darling. 
when they come in that unexpectedly and you weren't even firming for them, that's just you improving you and sending out thoughts of I'm so fucking fabulous, who wouldn't want me? And then they want you. How does one stay positive about the great reset we're living in? Forced vaccine mandates. Why are you even worrying about it? Why don't you just say it doesn't affect me? It won't affect me. No one's going to force me to have a vaccine. Why are you imagining that someone's going to force you? They'd have to tie me down on a stretcher and stick needles in me. It's not happening to me because I don't think that's going to affect me in my reality. But you think it will and you think we're in a great reset. I didn't even watch the fucking news. One thing I would recommend, stay woke. If you want to stay woke, stop watching the fucking news. Stop caring about what's happening in the 3D and live in your own little woke bubble and decide that you run your reality and you're not going to get vaccines and you're not in a great reset. The only reset that's happening is the one in your brain to stop your shitty thinking and to stay woke. But you can't stay woke if you're shitting, if you're thinking shitty thoughts about the current reality and thinking we're in a great reset. I don't think we're in a great reset. I think everyone's lost their fucking marbles and everyone's just fearful and watching the fear hour and watching the news too much. And everyone, as soon as they stop caring about it, watching the news, it'll all fucking go away. But until the fear hour ends, it won't end because everyone's obsessed with it. Watch a seminar with Bob Proctor the other day and he basically says the same things you do. Oh, does he? Except he talks about the paradigm, your paradigm. When he says self-concept, he says paradigm, but pretty much the same thing. You mean the one you can be rich or you can grow rich or and he talks about think and grow rich the whole time? I've watched that. It's like eight hours long, the one from the 80s where he's really young. And when I mean young, like he's 50. My SP is texting me every day and two guys from my past are trying to reach out to me. Oh, wonderful. I said something cheeky to SP and thought, hope he doesn't take that the wrong way. He did. Instant manifestation. <laughs> Stop that. I'm thinking about reaching out to my ex to try and fix it, or should I just affirm and don't do anything? Look, guys, I can't tell you what to do. If you're going to reach out to them, do it from a place of absolute confidence. They're going to be thrilled to hear from you. If you hold a story that they're angry at you, if you hold a story that they won't respond well, they won't. You've got to think when they see me, their eyes are going to light up. When they see my name on their phone, they're going to be thrilled. They've waited for this day. They're so glad I've called. They're so happy I've texted. They're thrilled to hear from me. That's the time you do it. Mm -hmm. Got a letter I'm not fond of that requires action, but I don't want to act out of lack. Well, revise the letter. Go back and write a letter, the version of the letter you do want, and read it every night. That's the letter I got. Yep, that's the letter. Honestly, go and put the other letter away. See what happens. Try that. Honestly, if you don't want to act. How do you convince yourself that you were in the relationship with SP? You don't have to convince yourself, darling. You just have to think thoughts of he loves me, we are together. You don't even have to convince yourself. I just want you to live in the end as much as possible that you and he are together. And when you slip out of that end, when you slip out of that thinking, go back to it. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't had the vaccine and I won't be. Hi, so how do I manifest getting pregnant with SP? I didn't want to get pregnant. Oh, how did you manifest getting pregnant with this? I didn't want to. Well, a lot of things happen that we don't want, darling. <laughs> it's just life. Okay. Maybe you say things like, things don't work out for me, or my relationship always has problems, and then you've manifested a problem if you don't want the pregnancy. Ta-da, there it is. It's a problem. What do you normally say about your relationship? What do you say about your partner? What do you say about your life? Do you say, oh, things never work out for me? What, what kind of things do you say? You don't have to have thought, I'm going to get pregnant, although you could have had fearful thoughts before about, oh, I better take this, this pill on time because I don't want to get pregnant. Don't want to get pregnant. Gee, I better be really, really vigilant with my birth control because I don't want to get pregnant. That could make you get pregnant because the fear of getting pregnant gets you pregnant. Got it? Have a think. I feel like I'm losing strength. Well, what does that mean, darling? Pick yourself up, darling. Go and do some self-concept affirmations in the mirror and big yourself up every day and rampage about how fucking great you are and then you'll feel some strength. Trust me. SPs and I schedules aren't lining up. Affirming that we can meet soon. Good, darling, good. So I don't watch it. It doesn't bother me, but my boyfriend, kids, lives in MA. I'd rather live off the land. Oh, okay. Well, start thinking that they think like you do, darling, and they are conforming to your way of thinking. My SP says exactly the same as you. Oh, really? What does he say? Affirmation is my dad to come from hospital. He is so healthy now. They release him from hospital quicker than normal. He's so healthy in himself. He's never felt so good. He's fully recovered. He's a miracle patient. 
Lots of affirming for myself helped me bring back so many boys from the past. Really important part. Lots of affirming for yourself, TT. That's wonderful. Wonderful, darling. So you're really working on you. Great. See you guys. Self-concept. Um, Loz, even more people have been telling me that I'm unrecognisable and that I look like a model. Oh, wonderful, darling. Love that. That's wonderful, OMG Ling. Why won't you be getting the vaccine? Because I'm not a guinea pig and I don't live somewhere where it's required. We're pretty lucky here, guys. We haven't had hardly any lockdowns. Um, can we change others' beliefs? Yes, darling. Just think they believe differently than what they currently do. Loz, if you live in the end but affirm for a second chance, is that not contradicting? You've asked this a million times, Elsa. You've asked a couple of times about this second chance business. And I've said to you, why are you saying you need a second chance? Why are you letting them pick you? Why are you giving them all the fucking power? Please give me a second chance. I just want a second chance. Do you know how weak that sounds? You're giving them all the power to choose you. Why are you doing that? Why are you even, why are you obsessed about this phrase, second chance? Just take it out and stop saying it. Yes, it contradicts itself. So stop saying it. You've asked me before and I've given you the same answer. Unless it's someone else, but I'm pretty sure it was you. And I said to you, stop saying that. After years of depression, working on self-concept brought extreme happiness and good changes. All thanks to finding your content. Miracles. Ah, oh, wonderful, darling. That's wonderful. SP's back and no depression. Hey, fuck those people who say you can't get rid of depression with anything but medicine. Fuck those people. I got rid of mine and lots of people in the group have too, including you, darling. That's wonderful. SP messaged and they didn't respond when I did. What? SP messaged but and but then didn't respond when I did. Well, don't worry about it, darling. Don't worry about it. Don't give a bad meaning. They're busy. Good evening, Loz. Finally, a good timing right with you. Oh, hi, Pat. You're killing it, sister, as usual. Oh, thank you, darling. I told myself I have a full social calendar. I was asked to join a pool league last week. Oh, lovely. I watch live 25, 41, 67, 77. I feel... Pretty and skinny and rich and happy. Oh, wonderful, darling. Hooray. Something I realised is that SP wasn't running away from me. I was running away from myself. Can happen, guys. Absolutely. When you have those realisations about your behaviour and what you were triggered by and why you were acting the way you were, it's a bit of a shock sometimes that you were afraid to get close. You were afraid that you were going to get hurt. It was you, you, you. Mm-hmm. Manifesting with Kimberly did a great no contact TikTok series. I watched today. Recommend. She's it's actually her YouTube, and she's cut it up into. It's great. It's a great, great video about doing inner conversations. I did a video inspired by that because I thought that was a great YouTube, and it's on a TikTok. Got to get back to movie. Catch you all tomorrow's live. Bye. Oh, bye, cat darling. Good luck. We don't need luck. You just manifest. It'll be great. Um, 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 um. Hang on. Yes, I do recommend testing your power with little things, Sandra. Getting a coffee, getting someone to say something, do something, wear something, purple car, etc. Okay. Sorry, Loz, missed your answer. Thank you. Don't worry, darling. Just stop saying that because it is contradicting. You're right. Okay. You guys really need to listen to this amazing woman. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> I need to listen to me sometimes. Sometimes I don't listen to me. Can I manifest bad things? Yes, you can, darling. Why would you want to do that for me? Because then it will reverberate back to you. It's called the golden rule. And then bad shit will happen to you, logic master, including all the spam that you're spamming. Don't know why you're doing that. Are you trying to get attention? Did your parents neglect you? Were you abandoned as a child? Were you locked in the cupboard and beaten with a broomstick? Something's going on with you. Got nothing to do with us. I just feel tired thinking about my love and other things I want. Nothing is changing. Well... The longer you say nothing is changing, the longer nothing will change. Darling, what you dominantly think manifests. Are you thinking nothing's changing dominantly a lot? Are you thinking that a lot? Well, then it won't fucking change. How about you work on your self-concept for a week and get back to us? Instead of whinging and moaning and telling us nothing is working, why don't you actually do the work that I tell you to do? Guys, manifestation isn't magic. You've actually got to consciously change your thinking. If you're not consciously, actively, every fucking day changing and flipping your negative thoughts, nothing's going to fucking happen for you, and then you're going to write victim statement comments like that. We get our shit here, darling. Do you want to get your shit or do you want to whinge? Up to you. Go to the Facebook group if you're hella lost and watch all the lives. Watch number 25 first if you're trying to get your SP back and then number 41. Good morning. Glad I caught you. Oh. Persist, persist, persist. It's the key. Yes, guys. 
He's blocked me, so now can't make contact. Well, what do you need to make contact with him for, New York girl? Can't you assume he's going to contact you? Why are you being a needy bitch and needing to contact him? Why are you assuming he's not going to? That's coming from a place of neediness, desperation, believing that you have to be the one to contact because you don't believe he'll contact you, and therefore he won't. The more you think he won't contact you and the blocking is a problem, the more it will be a problem in your reality. Start saying you're together. Start working on a shitty self-concept that's making you chase guys. Why are you chasing him? Don't do that. That's not queen energy. Wow, this is legit. <laughs> Hi, Loz. How are you? Could you give us some affirmations against procrastination? I never procrastinate. I get everything done that I want to do. I'm not a perfectionist anymore. In fact, near enough is good enough. I just get shit done when I need to do it. Say those things because a lot of it's perfectionism and not feeling good enough and feeling like you're going to fail. And that's why you don't start. I start everything. I, I finish everything I start. So those things. Sorry, right, guys. I'm just going to block this idiot. It's so calming knowing that I have the power. Yes, guys. It bloody is. I keep seeing 1221 when I look at the time. Do you know the meaning? It means you've seen 1221. That's what that means. Darling, it's just your reticular activating system filtering out all of the numbers. And now you've decided that 1221 is important. So you keep seeing it. Unfortunately, that's all it is. Thank you, Loz. You're welcome. Yes, I have, darling. I blocked them. I got sad today, Loz. I'm so in love with him. Don't worry, Nancy. Keep working. Keep going. Morning. Not getting alert. Spending week with future husband. He makes me so happy. Oh, Lisa, wonderful. <laughs> How's things going, Lisa, darling, with the family? Tell me. It means you only look at the clock twice a day. Yes, that's what it means. Kimberly, this is great. Can you do some affirmations for money? I might be coming into some today, and I want to make sure. Oh! Money comes to me so quickly and easily. I am so uber wealthy. People are jealous of how much money I've got. I've got so much money in the bank, I've got a tax problem. Mm -hmm. Having fun now with this part of our story instead of pushing. We look at each other and literally just smile and stare in each other's eyes and giggle. That's wonderful, Hannah. Don't push it. Don't think you have to push it. Don't think that anything's stalled. Don't think that you've done something wrong. Just keep going the way you were before and you'll get this, okay? It's yours. It's in the fucking bag. He's in the bag tied up. Hogtied. Okay. <laughs> Laws, if affirming is enough, if that's all you do. Yes, you can just affirm if that's what you want to do. It's just changing your thinking. Can you do a money series on TikTok? I can. About manifesting money? Absolutely, guys. Yes, I can. He's back now and apologized for his baby. A wonderful, Rupee. Wonderful. Hang on, guys. What if you believe it but doesn't show up? Well, it's delayed, darling. You've got to have patience. Persist, persist, persist until it hardens into fact. Has it hardened into fact or are you just going to give up before it does? I'm just curious if you think soulmates, soul ties, twin flames are a real thing. No, darling. You decide if they're your fucking soulmate. You decide. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Connie. It's Connie, my name. Oh, she's had a clip. All right, guys, I better go. Connie's here. Oh. Come in. Come in, come in, come in. She's had a clip. Look. The dog looks so cute. Look, guys. She's had a clip. Oh, oh yes. Look, at look how you. excited she is to see Connie. Oh, you're a beautiful girl. <laughs> All right, guys, I better go. I'll be live later. I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye.